game just to get my fatty. And these lazy ain't got competition. It's me versus me, love Key Talk. Before I start the story, please like the video for me, Ketal Society. I much appreciate y'all. It helps the video grow. So reports is coming out now that 21 Savage's brother, you know what I'm talking about? Now, in an interview, I believe he said there may not be biological brothers, but they're like gang gang and just like suit, like, you know, been with each other for so long that they're kind of like brothers. They're pretty much like brothers, right? So I'm going to put that out there. Uh, so... 21 Savage brother, pretty much, uh, he was arrested with another guy because what they was doing was they'll go to a place, find some homeless people, you know what I'm talking about, have some fraudulent checks, and they would actually have the homeless people go and cash the checks at the bank, you know what I'm talking about, and they, they break the homeless people off some paper, some new clothes, you know what I'm talking about, uh, and, and then, of course, they got they have, and then they would just go to another town, another city, another state, whatever it may be, uh, and they pretty much, you know what I'm talking about, keep doing that over and over and over and over, right? Now, the wild part about it is, I'm gonna read, and I'm going to read the actual story on it, like the police report and stuff later, Well, the wild part about it is, it's like, I want y'all to imagine the bank people putting up to the bank, because, you know, typically, homeless people around an area be in the same place every day you know what i'm talking about whether they own the streets asking for money at a particular corner you know what i'm talking about at least in texas is how it be or whether they just outside of a building or anywhere they may be right you see the same homeless people literally every single day so i imagine the bank people just being inside the bank and all of a sudden one of the homeless people that they literally see every single day walks inside the bank you know what i'm talking about walks up to the counter and lays like a thirty thousand dollar check on the counter why they still looking homeless and why they still you know the same people they see every day they probably scratch their head like what in the blue hell how the man listen i see you every day on this block how in the blue hell you don't walk in here with a thirty thousand dollar check which of course that's gonna lead to some type of suspicion right uh, and leading to suspicion is definitely not what you want especially when it's uh you know a fraudulent check anyways but hey man times is hard out here in the screens you know what i'm talking about times harder her period you know what i'm talking about so you got to do what you got to do in order to get that paper and what they was doing to get that paper was doing the fraudulent checks right you know what i'm talking about just because 21 savage is rich that don't mean that everybody's rich you know what i'm talking about everybody still gotta uh you know be able to do what they gotta do to get their money and you know a lot of the times people may not have education they probably have stuff on their record so where they can't even go actually get a job so they gotta do stuff pretty much illegal stuff in order to get the paper right anyway so i'm gonna actually read y'all the report right it says evansville police department officials have charged two men with fraud after they tried cash and fake checks according to the press release e epd officials began to investigate reports of fraudulent checks being passed at local financial institutions officials say police discovered that several suspects were coming into evansville and targeting the homeless community i mean yes uh they were using the homeless to actually do it uh but some people's like hey man this is literally a form of community service you know what I'm talking about they giving the homeless some paper some food some clothes you know what I'm talking about it may be being illegal but you know what I'm talking about at least they was helping them out right anyways it says the suspects would offer new clothes phones or money to the homeless people in exchange for them to cash fraudulent checks officers and detectives had reached out to our local shelters and let the staff and residents know about the crimes uh what to watch out for and how to report support how to report suspicious behavior several of the local individuals did get caught up in his investigation and had been arrested for cashing fraudulent checks on wednesday daniel revelette was arrested at a bank for cashing a fraudulent check i'm guessing this guy was more than likely homeless it says revelette told officers that he is homeless yep and two suspects in a white vehicle had recruited him to cash the checks the press release states that detectives were able to identify the suspects but they had already left town on friday detectives learned that the two suspects later identified as Khalil Smith, of course, 21 Savage's brother, and James Stacker uh, were back in Evansville. Yeah, they trying to hit another play. You know what I'm talking about probably got that paper, spent that paper, trying to get some more paper. It says officials say Smith and Thacker were located and arrested in Evansville. They were both charged with fraud and transported to the Vanderbilt, uh, Vanderbilt County Confinement Center. So, He's out here trying to get that paper, man. It is a whole lot of the, the, the check cash and the stuff going on, the check fraud cash and the stuff going on. Now, I don't think a lot of these people actually get caught all the time. So this is one of the times where, you know, I, I believe it. I believe the fact that they used a homeless person 
may be the reason that they actually got caught. You know what I'm talking about? Because whenever they caught the homeless person, he pretty much said, hey, listen, these guys did it in a, in a white, you know, in a white vehicle. He don't have no loyalty to these people or nothing like that. It ain't like they taking somebody that they know or something like that. So, uh, you know, and that's what it, you know what? Here goes a video on it. Rest in a fraudulent check cashing ring. We're told the financial crimes unit has been looking into fake check reports since the spring of last year. Detectives say several suspects would come to town, steal business checks, alter them, and then find someone to cash them. To do this, investigators say they targeted the homeless by offering new clothes, phones, and money. Once they got the money, the suspects would leave town. Officers say Daniel Ravelet was caught cashing fake checks this month. Now, Ravelet told officers he's homeless, and two suspects in a white vehicle recruited him to cash the checks. Now, detectives were able to identify those men and found them in Evansville this morning. They're right there. 34-year-old James Thacker and 25-year-old Khalil Smith. They're both booked on charges in the Vanderbilt County Jail. Anyways, now from that video, it gave a little more details. Pretty much, I kind of did break it down already though uh but yeah that's just what it is you know what i'm talking about make sure y'all be careful out here y'all you're doing these risky things risky behaviors in order to get that paper you know what i'm talking about anyways let me know something coming out below let me know what you think about his entire deal i'm out